Hello friend, this is Anand. Today I'll be talking about using drop-down in Flutter app. So let's start with the programming. So initially we need to import one of the file package that is package flutter material dot. Uh, then we have to call the main function. This main function will be calling run app inside run app will be calling one of the stateful widget so here I am using a stateful this is because oh, I missed out this arrow so here we are using a stateful this is because as we are using drop down so in drop down we have the uh, screen changes on event so we have to stay use this stateful so we'll be returning here the material app that's fine let's go well okay inside the material app we can provide the title let it be drop down example let's okay for the title we have uh, we have home or uh, we can remove this so check banner mode if we make it false it will just remove it okay let's see other option uh oh it do not suggest any other yeah so we have home inside home we'll be creating a scaffold okay so inside app fold uh, we'll be creating app bar the app bar will be providing one visit that is tax oh sorry app bar inside app bar we have uh, so let us see the suggestion we have title so let me give the title title accepts a widget let's give okay this is title now we come on to the body section in the body why it's giving okay so okay we have completed with the app bar now let's go with the body section inside the body uh, we'll be creating a drop down so ooh, okay let's create the drop down so we have drop down button and we have drop down item so we'll be creating drop down button and inside the drop down button we need drop down menu item so we'll be creating the drop down button let's start with the drop down button we have two mandatory things that that, that that is required for creating the drop down that is item and the second one is uh, an event that is unchanged so uh, we'll be creating the item now so let's create the item uh, we'll be calling a function to return the item so uh, let's check uh, what item is basically so item is list of drop down menu item so we have to create a list which will return a drop down menu item okay so let's create uh, uh, let's name it something uh, drop down item this is a function okay we'll be creating here this function I'll return type of the function will be list of drop down item drop down menu item and this will accept string 
okay with this the name of the function and this is the body of the function okay now let's start with creating a list so we'll be initially creating a list from the list we'll be uh, creating the drop down item so let's have a list of a string let's call it ddl okay this will be an so uh, in dart a list is basically an array so we have array let's make uh, this drop down selection of gender so we'll have two options either male or female or we have others okay now from this list we will be creating list of drop down menu item so we will be returning that thing so let's call return and then we will be using ddl dot map function this will iterate each of the uh, item of the list and create a new type of list so uh, this is fine okay this will create a drop down menu item okay that's fine in this we need a value so value will be uh, will give the value which is being passed to it and further we have child child and child will be providing a visit oh, oh. that will contain the value again okay so we have created the drop down menu item this fine this look fine and now this will we will be converting into a two list drop down menu string okay that's fine okay up till here we have created the value and all so we have the item now if we want to uh, let's see some of the option we have value so initial value must be given else it will give error and hint is uh, I'll tell you later what hint is so let's try to run this much this will take some time and I think uh, there is some error and what is this so is it oh we have to call the method up so so here is the output we can see a drop down here which has got three options but uh, it's not changing and it's not displaying anything so let's bring it to center so we can use uh, center visit okay now let's see okay we have this drop down in the center uh, but it's, it's uh, not showing anything so we have uh, one option that is hint to display inside the hint we can use a widget so let's give a text widget and I will uh, select I'll write select gender and now we if we hot reload it then we have this uh, written select gender and if we select the gender then it is not changing anything because we have not uh, we have not uh, written nothing on on change so let's uh, create a function on changed so uh, this will accept a value that will be the index 
uh, sorry uh, that will be the value of selected gender so uh, let us uh, create a variable uh, string variable and let's uh, let it let us call it selected gender initially let us give a null value to it that's fine and now on change value will be changing the value of select gender to the value which we are getting on change value okay that's fine that's good and this will be uh, with the drop down we have one property as value and we'll be passing this selected gender to the value now if I run this thing so again this will not uh, reflect what we are expecting because we have not set reset we have not called the set state so we need to call this set state function and let it be null uh, we don't need to write anything we just that let it blank now it has hot reloaded it so if I change it to mail it is changing to mail it's going others uh, let me hot restart it and so it from the starting so initially it's select gender once you change it to female it's showing female if you change it to male it's showing male so this is how we work on the drop down okay